A note on Borealis. Uh, an interesting, if difficult, sad, overwhelming for this viewer proposition. This is a film which early on uh, has a, a tragic proposition. And to offer my conclusion right here at the start, I was um, uh, looking for the term, I said overwhelmed, uh, now I'm somewhat outraged by the suggestion that this, this is going to be terrible. It's not a horror movie, I don't, I don't watch that, I, so I'm trying to remember how they were. I, I've seen horror movies when I was about 20 and I found them even then uh, <laughs> horrifying indeed. Uh, the evil, the, the, the tree and the, the, so much blood, OMG. Peter, Joseph, and Mary. Uh, so I, I just, I, I know there you, you, there's so much blood, and but here it's not that. It's again, this is not horror in that sense. But still, uh, the, let me just say, it. the heroine is very ill. We know this from so many other films. Uh, I'm thinking for myself starting with love story. Love story, yes, nice. But then she's so sick and dying. Uh, by the way, I've learned about Brian O'Neill, that he could be so obnoxious. If we're to believe Robert Evans, uh, the author of a very, very interesting book, um, The Kid Stays in the Picture. It's about his career as an actor, first, then a producer, and the head of a major studio, Paramount. Uh, and in this uh, career, he, he met the likes of uh, Nabokov, he discovered uh, perhaps the best actor of, of all, with our own Georgia Constantine, Jack Nicholson, uh, and uh, he produced Love Story, that's why I remembered about him and uh, Brian O'Neill. Uh, It's not just mischievous, uh, really bad behavior after the film. And there's uh, Chinatown and towering over them all, and to end this uh, sideline, uh, The Godfather. A story of production for Paul. Anyway, it's a good read. So, returning, we, we know this, we know this from so many films, uh, but for me it was um, um, unusual in, in, in many ways. Uh, I, I felt really bad about this. Uh, so she knows she's going blind. I mean, people around her and ultimately the protagonist herself knows she's, she's, she's losing her sight and it's terrible. Well, there is some hope. I've been reading psychology, especially positive psychology over the past few years and I learned about uh, the hedonic treadmill and the hedonic adaptation which works both ways. The, 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 negative part, so to say, is that we adapt to so many things. We, we have a car, fancy maybe, big house, many things. It, it, we adapt to them. Uh, therefore, it's, it works like an addiction, like the alcohol for many, or drugs. They have to, uh, to, to take in more. And then a fancy car means a fancier one, and on and on and on. And then we compare with the rest, if he has a better car, or better. My own good thing is not worth anything anymore. In fact, uh, that car can be a, a, a 
reason to be unhappy. The positive side is that we tend to adapt to negative events as well. That is, it was studied and found that people who suffer from a disability tend to come back to a so-called base level of happiness. They have a, obviously when an accident, something bad happens, they, uh, they have a, 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 a low level of happiness or they're unhappy for some time, but then they tend to get back. So that would be the positive side. But here, I must say that uh, whatever happened, almost, almost anything uh, inside, uh, this father was a gambler, he has a big debt, he's, he's, he's uh, threatened and chased uh, through the country uh, by some rather ridiculous uh, uh, loan charts, equivalent, uh, pales in comparison. I mean, I, I for one, was, was obsessed with this idea of this girl losing, and she's so young, losing her uh, uh, eyesight. And Boralis, what this uh, lousy father wants to, to do to offer her as a, as a peak experience, to bring her to flow, in, in, there's a, a classic psychology book, Flow by Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi, to reach a peak experience, being in the zone. He wants to show his daughter, before she, she becomes blind, uh, the northern lights and they engage in a long road trip we're sort of familiar the film is not extraordinary in my view 